Hello guys, this is Pap from Pap back at it again and we have the second part because there were so many news right here. We got a new structure deck and a new selection box to cover. Can't wait guys, but uh, so if you uh, didn't do it yet, just check my previous video about the balance list because it was insane. Plus the skill rebalancing that is gonna be live in 20, on the 24th of August. Guys, can't wait for that. But before jumping right to it, just a quick reminder, if you enjoy the content, please do like and subscribe. I really appreciate it and it really helps me a lot. Let's jump right into it. So we have the new structure deck. Let's go through it. So let's go to the shop. I want to see all of the cards. We have Spirit Charmers. Um, we've got tons of stuff. We have... Let's start from, oh, let's see all the new cards, actually. There are a lot of new cards in this, like three new, actually four new super rares and three URs. Oh my god, maybe it's just, maybe this is just a reprint. Let's start from the Ran Ryu. Dragon effect level 4, you can only control one Ran Ryu. If you control a spellcaster type monster, you can special summon this card from your end. Okay, I always think about Alistair, but we do not have the wind power, so. If this card is destroyed by battle or card effect instead of the graveyard, you can attack one monster with 1500, 200 defense in your graveyard special summon it. Okay, I guess. Just a special summon, I guess, is something better. But nothing more than that. And. Okay, what else we have? Uh, the Nefarious, I only want one copy of. Oh, these are all the, the guys that can special summon whenever you control a, a spellcaster monster. So we have the the Earth one, the Fire one. So this is nice because if I buy this, I'm gonna have all the copies. That is very nice. Gigabyte, this is a reprint for sure. I remember this being there. Uh, as well, if you control this, if you control the Caster Monster, you can special summon this. All of those are there. The Warder one, the Fire, the, the Earth, and the Wind. Uh, these are all stuff we already have. Speedy Charmers, Quick Play Spell Card, you are. The Scar 1 card, take two cards from your deck with different names from each other that are Charmer Monsters, Familiar Possessed Monsters, and or Possessed Spell Trap Cards. Add one of them to your hand and set the other. You can only activate one Speedy Charmers per turn. This is huge. So, familiar percent. You can actually add this stuff or not? No, not this stuff, but you can add the Earth Charmer, this stuff. That are all flip effect, I guess, right? Uh, yep. Um, can we add the, the level 5 one? Um, like the one that the the one that we have for speedroids. Uh, let me check this real quick. If I go into speedroids, uh, this is the wind chandelier, and it is not the same thing, right? This is not chan you cannot add chandelier stuff. No familiar possessed or possessed spell trap cards. Okay, I'm not sure how good this is gonna be. Like, do we have enough stuff to take advantage of this possessed? Uh, we have Lena. Okay, you guys special summon this card. Um, nothing special, I guess. Uh, you can add one spellcaster type monster, okay. That is cool. And no, so not that crazy stuff, at least for now that I can think of. But maybe we cannot just just add this spell card that's gonna be among this one. We have Grand Spiritual Or Ikirin. Ichirin, I don't know how to read this, guys. Correct me if I'm wrong. Field spell. So it can be added with the limited one. Negate your opponent's first monster effect that resolves each turn while you control a spellcaster type monster with 1500 defense. Okay. Uh, during your man phase, you can reveal one spellcaster type monster from your end, and if you do, Add one monster with the same attribute but with 1500 200 defense from your deck to your hand. And if you do that, shuffle the real card into the deck. So you can basically add these these guys, the, these little guys, by returning the one from uh, from that you revealed. Okay. Okay, I guess this could be something. I don't know. But this cannot be added with the Spirit Charmers because this is not a possessed spell trap card. Okay. Uh. 
I don't know, I can't see the combo because I, I never played this stuff. But I don't, I don't know how good this could be. I'm not sure. I'm, I'm, I'm interested into this, to be honest. Then we have Possessed Partnerships. This is a trap card that you can actually sat with the Speedy Charmers. Okay, let's see how good it's gonna be. Special Summon 1 Spellcaster Type Monster with 1500 defense from your end or graveyard in attack position or face down defense position. Wait a minute, can we search Alistair with this thing? What if I try, if I type Invoke? Alistair has 15, 1800, so never mind. We can't go with Alistair for this, so okay. Uh, then if you control monsters with two or more different attributes, you can destroy one face-up card on the field, okay, without targeting, so this is very nice. You can banish this card from your graveyard, target one possessed continuous spell trap card in your graveyard, place it face-up on your field. Continuous. Uh, do we have continuous spell trap card, right? Oh, is this one, okay. Um... You can only use one possessed partnership effect per turn, only once per turn. Okay, so if you use that and go into the, is, uh, is, uh, is sent to the graveyard, you cannot use the effect of banishing it. Okay, that's understandable. Reprint of Power of the Guardians, and then we have Unpossessed. This is the continuous trap card. Charmer monsters you control cannot be destroyed by battle. So I guess we're gonna we're gonna use Cyclone. We can we we need to keep on using Cyclones here. Um, if a familiar possessed monster you control attacks an opponent's monster, it gains hit 100 attack during damage calculation only. Okay, I guess it's not that much of a deal, like, uh, they're not that good in attack mode. If a monster you control is destroyed by battle card effects, you can special summon a spellcaster monster from your, gra from your deck, okay. Whose attribute is different from at least one of those destroyed monsters. And, oh, in face, in face down position as well, so okay, you can actually use the effect. Uh, and this means they can take control of what, of, what, of what you're having. And this is just the wind art, so... Okay. This is nice for RPs as well. I don't know if this was already a thing, like spiritual wind art. Do, do we already have that? Spiritual... I'm just checking on Duel Links meta, guys, to see if we already have this. Yeah, it was already on in, the, in, um, in Duel Links, on sign of RPs as well. So this is just a reprint, I guess. To be honest, I'm not sure this is gonna be... I, I don't know how good this can be. I have no idea because I never played this archetype, so I'm gonna be totally honest with you. But I'm not interested. Honestly, I'm not interested as... Uh, you know... Uh, I simply don't like this stuff. Just It's just that. Uh, and now we're gonna go through, through the, the things actually that a lot of you might be even more interested like me. Let's see the selection box. We have the last win that is gonna be limited as well. And these are the three cards. I wanna see, honestly, uh, in, I wanna see the reprints as well. So that's why I'm gonna go into the shop. I wanna see what do we have. Okay. <clears throat> oh. Okay. Okay. We have Fortune Sanctuary. This is what can actually make uh, photons a little bit better. Um. Because basically you summon the uh, the Sulphur Dragon, the new Link, new Link, the latest release for Link in Galaxy Eyes with this, and you can just go with this, and you have the Link Monster, uh, except Light Monster. Then you're locked into Light Monster. Do we have an interruption with Light? Yes, I guess the Vimana, uh, just with the Satellite, the combo that I explained on my channel. So that's it. I don't know if this is gonna be enough, honestly, to to make Photon at, at least being playable again, because we're talking about that, nothing more. Unless we have Photon Lord again, it's just talking about decent plays, not more. And then we have Lost Wind, that is limited trap, is limited tree on release, and what does this says? No more trap card. Target on face up special summon monster on the field. It has its effect negated, also its original attack is odd. Nice. If a monster is special summoned from your opponent's extra deck while this card is in the graveyard, you can set this card but banish it when it leaves the field. This is even more broken. This is like you negate the effect and it's not once per turn. So like you negate with this, this goes to the graveyard and then if your opponent is special summoned another thing, you set this. Oh my god, uh, this is it's gonna be a nightmare. This is going to be a nightmare. Just like Crackdown, probably. 
uh, two negation in one. I'm not sure you can, actually I don't think you can play this the turn you set it, so if you use it, you still have to wait for the next turn to negate to use this again, but okay. And then the new card that we add was the Evil's Worm Exciting Knight. Generic rank 4, so this is gonna be playable in anything. Uh, once per chain during your main phase or your opponent's battle phase, if your opponent has more total cards in their hands and their side of the field than you do, you can detach one, destroy all other cards on the field. Also, your opponent takes no further damage this turn. So this is very nice because this can be used not only to trigger the trap card, the, the back rows your opponent have, but also to uh, force during your opponent's turn to interrupt, of course, if they're doing a lot of stuff against Synchro decks that spams a lot of monsters. This is gonna be something to, you know, to deal with. You know what I mean? But still, for example, I think this cannot be played in the pe or Dice Pendulum Dragon because you have the skills. So you're gonna have always more cards than your opponent. And at this point, this effect cannot be used. So nice. This is gonna be meta. This is gonna be one of the staple that you're gonna use. Uh, in almost any deck that can afford a rank 4. Very nice. Uh, and we're gonna see, we're gonna see. We have also here, this is huge. This was actually a, uh, a bundle and now it is in a selection box. You can get the other two copies of Tour Guide from the Underwood. That's why they released Farfa. Is Seer still limited? No, I'm, I'm actually not sure. Let me see. Seer is not limited, so this means that you can play triple of this, actually two maybe, and the Beatrice, of course. So let me see if Beatrice is still here. Beatrice should be limited, right? Yeah, Beatrice is limited three, so you can actually go for two of this and one Beatrice. The Reprints of Trasher, it's gonna be nice. The Reprints of Spiral Flame Strike, Reprints of this, a lot of people are gonna be happy for that. Summoner Monk Reprints, okay, Photon Lizard, could have... Oh my, wait a minute, I might be interested in this. Also the Noble Dragon that I do not have. Oh my god, we have a lot of cards. Wait, was this a reprint? The Brutal Dozer is a reprint. Let me check this real quick. Brutal Dozer. Brutal Dozer is new, guys. Is new. So we have a lot of, car of new cards right here. We have the Brutal Dozer. You can tribute one Earth Machine type monster, special summon this card from your end, okay. If this card is special summoned, you can special summon a Finchak from your deck. Oh my goodness, level 5. But negate its effect. Okay, so it's an easy level 5, I guess, rank. Or if you summon a Tuner. Do we have a Finchak Tuner? I'm not sure about that. So, okay. We also have a Pendulum Treasure, another new card in here. So for the... For the UR, the new are this, but actually this because we have more copies to play with. Also, part of duality can be nice to get. And we have the Exceeding Knight, the Brutal Dozer, the Pendulum Treasure. Add one Pendulum Monster from your deck to your extra deck face up. Nice, no cost, no requirements, nothing. To your extra deck, okay. That is gonna be cool. Also, combined with Off Dragon Magician is gonna be something to basically add this to your hand. Maybe the Time Breaker. Uh, code of Cards. Oh my goodness, I love this. If you control no continuous trap cards, if you control no monsters, or only control Queen's Knight, King's Knight, and or Jack's Knight, you can special summon one Queen's Knight, King's Knight, or Jack's Knight from your end or graveyard. You can banish up to one each Queen's Knight, King's Knight, or Jack's Knight from your end or graveyard. Draw the same number of cards you banished. And this is, you can use this effect, you can keep on using this effect. So you can basically draw a tree with this. Or anything you need. You can draw a tree with this. Oh my goodness. And keep in mind that you can actually summon this. No, this is a fiend, never mind. So. Oh, I want this, guys. I get to try this to see if I can, if the Queen's, if the Poker Knights becomes playable. Then we have the Reprints of Summoner Monk that we don't need, the Photon Lizard. Uh, Xanke Magician, Noble Dragon is a reprint I'm interested in, the Foden Vanisher, the Orbital, uh, and then these are not, these are reprint as well, nothing special, right? The Reverse Terminal is something we already have, for sure. 
heavy forward is something we already have and I guess nothing else right uh, this is all stuff we already had so nothing new we I guess right this is stuff that was in other stuff oh the wish apprentice I do not have it I might want to go into this you know what I mean I might want to go into this honestly oh my god really guys I mean the most important thing right here is the Exceder Knight not gonna lie to you the Exceder Knight is going to be the biggest thing. There are some brains that are going to be useful, but the new thing is the Exceder, probably. Uh, this is just for the meme and the dream, so, you know, but... Can't wait, guys! Tons of stuff! We got tons of stuff! Also, these, the, the, the mini box, the selection mini. I still do not recommend you going into mini box, selection mini, actually selection box, not the mini ones, but... Uh, maybe the super mini was best because we had the super mini once it was even better, but Dude Dude We have a lot of stuff to cover. We have a lot of stuff to cover. Uh, also, I can't wait to go for the The 24th of August to see all the bandly supplied really guys. This is gonna be something huge This is gonna be something huge guys that was all for today's video of course as always let me know what you think in the comment section down below if you're going into the selection box thanks a lot for watching and as always see you in the next one